What's up guys? So we are out working on my house today and uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was do an installation video of the roof panel for our Ranger 500. So I want to show you the, the vehicle we bought, um, just a quick walk around of it, what options we got, what options we didn't get, um, etc, etc. And we'll uh, do a quick installation of the roof, just show you how that goes. It's really easy. Um, I did buy OEM for a reason. Uh, I wanted the quality. I wanted to, to make sure that everything went on smooth. I wanted to make sure that the um, the quality was there. There's a lot of aftermarket brands. There's a lot of good aftermarket brands. There's a lot of bad aftermarket brands. And I really didn't feel like dealing with the bad ones. So um, I'm going to take you real quick through the uh, the Ranger 500. And I'll do a quick, uh, quick review of the roof itself. The camera around here. So here's our Ranger 500. So I bought the 500. Um, which is the smallest of the vehicles, but I bought it for a couple of reasons. One, um, I don't need a lot of power. We've only got a, a little bit over an acre here, so it's not like I needed a lot of um, a lot of space to get up and go around the property. Uh, additionally to that, um, I wanted to keep the weight very light. Uh, the reason for that was because my wife's SUV um, will be on duty to tow this when... Um, when my truck is is basically hooked up to my camper so you can kind of see through the woods there my camper is sitting over here my truck's there with the trailer hooked up to it right now but um i do tow that trailer uh, a lot of the time and when i am towing it i've obviously i can't i don't i don't have the pay, payload capacity to be able to haul this as well and i don't think in the state of maryland i'm actually allowed to do dual trailers and even if i was i only run a half ton truck there is no way possible that i'm going to be pulling two trailers or anything like that um without at least uh 2500 3500 trucks so um again we did get the ranger 500 this is a 2020 mo 2021 model bare bones uh we did not get the winch we did not get the plow kit we didn't get doors we didn't get the roof we didn't get the windshields we didn't get the rear um we bought bare bones just to save a little bit of money um the reason we bought new over buying a used uh, a used vehicle was because honestly the the price of the used vehicles was so close to a brand new vehicle that it just didn't make a lot of sense for us to go that route it you know we spent out the door um like nine thousand on this one but like used vehicles in worse condition beat up completely muddy just trash are still selling for seven to eight thousand so for a little bit extra money for the peace of mind we got a warranty um and we've got a vehicle that hasn't been thrashed on whatsoever so basically that's it i did opt for the green i did not want the red one um i do plan on possibly wrapping this uh either a gray color or a silver color um i just want to make it kind of my own and, and make it look the way that i want it to look but that's just a personal preference um it does come with the two inch receiver i know it's a little shady under here so you may not be able to see but um it does come with a two inch receiver i just threw a, a straight um a straight hitch on there so that uh i could pull around yard equipment etc um i've got a, a small rod on lawnmower as well that has some attachments that i'll be able to hook up to this and, and be able to pull around with it um <clears throat> haven't done anything to it yet you can still see here the shocks are uh preloaded set to the softest um adjusting those preload will give us a little bit more height but it also makes the the ride a little bit stiffer from what i'm understanding i'm not a i don't i don't claim to be a, a master of suspensions whatsoever but um but that is what i'm understanding i can crank them up a little bit um but it'll it'll increase the the harshness of it or make it a little bit more um a little bit more bouncy while we're riding so um that may be one thing i'm doing if if i do load this thing up with anything may need to increase that um, but it will give you a little bit extra height as well so into the roof panel. So this is the factory OEM roof panel. Really easy to install. It comes with um, eight Torx bit uh, screws here. So you can see these are Torx bit. Um, four little clips that'll go into the roof panel itself. And then it does come with one extra weather seal here that I think that goes along the front of the windshield when it's, or the, sorry, the front of the roof panel when it's installed. So um, let me take a quick pause. I'm gonna, basically show you guys how to set this thing up and we'll get it all installed all right so jumping back into it so i grabbed my um my t40 torx bit um this is just a cheap door last one anything will work you don't need to have the the socket one by any means um i do just to make it a little bit easier for us 
Um, but anyway, so we'll go ahead and get these kind of prepped up. I'll show you where these clips go specifically. Um, and then we'll get that roof panel up and, and see what we can get done. Um, so let me just knock this over here. So as you can see, we've got these uh, four positions. That's where these little, little clips are going to go. So what we'll do is... I'll switch hands on the phone, sorry. Uh, real quick, just pop these pop these in there. So they just slide over and clip in. Uh, so, sorry, cut the video. Um, as you see there, they're fully clipped over um, and installed, so we are good there. So we'll grab these other three and get them installed real quick. You will hear an audible click from them. I mean, they uh, they just lock in there, kind of around, and um, I don't know if you can see, but they they press into the hole right there a little bit. So they'll go in there and clip in. All right. So step one is done. They're all in. Um, like I said, I, I I've got instructions, but it doesn't say anything about that second weather seal. Just looking at this channel here, I assume it's going to go in here. So I'm going to try real quick to see if I can grab that and get it lined up in there, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so it seems that is exactly where it goes, actually. So what I did, I lined up this end, um, and this just presses into the channel. So nothing major, just get it in, line it up, um, and then press it in and around. And we'll finish off this side here. So you just want to follow the curves. Press that in. And there we go. At this point in time, I mean, we're really, we're good to get this thing set up and on the roof. One thing to note when you do put it up on the roof is we've got these clips here. So um, when you put it up on the roof panel, I believe what we're going to do is um, slide it around one of the uh, crossbeam supports here. And uh, and it'll basically lock that in place. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the roof up there and I'll just show you where it locks in at. All right. So with the roof panel up here, you can see... Um, we're, we're kind of sitting up on the top here. I'm sorry, I'm looking like directly at the light. But you can see we're sitting up a little bit here. Uh, and the reason for that is we've actually got to get the roof to slide down a little bit um, to get the hooks to lock into here, here, and here. And then what we'll do is pull the whole roof backwards. Um, so we'll slide that down. You can see that hook fell in, fell in, and just about fell in. And then what we're going to do is jump out. We're going to come back to the back here. I'll climb into the bed. And basically, what we want to down do is basically get this to seat down. So we're going to pull the roof panel back, and that'll lock that in place. All right, so I'm going to say this. That last part was a bear. Fit is great. But you have to slam these down because there's a clip underneath that has to lock into the rail that's existing. So then these holes will line up. Um, so what I ended up doing was basically I had to put the phone down to be able to do this, but I got up on top of the bed rail here, stood up, and basically put all my weight straight down to get them to lock in. So if we jump off here, you can see these are clipped here, and these here are what had to clip inside of this rail. So that was a tough part that I had. Um, I put all my weight into it. Not a big guy, so it wasn't that much weight actually going into it. Uh, but that is now in, and it is good to go. So all that's left to do is basically um, locate our screw holes, uh, which are right here, and running along, and we will uh, we'll get those screws locked in. These ones here are um, they're, they're self-tapping ones. So uh, you'll get basically four of these little ones with the lock side on and then you'll get four that have a, a, a little bit of a, a if it'll focus or thread it in there and those will thread into the back holes so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of them started and then uh, we'll get right back to it all right so that piece was pretty easy we're not fully tightened down here but as you can see I got the four self threading ones in um, all over here you can see those two starting there. The holes line up perfectly, so quality-wise, top of the line. Um, from the inside, uh, we've got a couple that are going to go. Uh, one here, 
there's two in the center and then one of that far end there these are where the the clips that we put in uh that's where that's going to tie into so overall quality top of the line um absolutely fantastic definitely transforms the look of the side by side looks a lot better with a roof panel on there next i'm going to get i think i'm actually going to do half windshield on it versus a full windshield uh the reason being is that um we have been kicking around the idea of getting another piece of property uh kind of like a vacation place and selling off the camper if we do that um i i don't like to limit myself to not getting a cool breeze in the summer essentially um i know that sounds kind of weird but the half windshield will still protect from some of the elements and it'll give me the availability to um to get a breeze through there especially if we're all geared up helmets etc on so um overall um i'm gonna button the rest of this up but this is about it for the video guys i really appreciate everybody who who likes subscribes enjoys these videos i know they're not great production quality um i'm gonna definitely work on that get a plan together um get my ideas kind of uh collected a little bit more but overall um this is the content that i'm gonna be putting out small installation videos small vlog style videos where we're uh doing some property work so um to give you an idea uh my neighbors are over here but past this chicken wire fence that is right in front of me um my property extends up to their fence line um and you can see there's a lot of brush it's a lot of dead there's a lot of stuff back here that we want to get cleaned out um and we're going to basically take all of this out this is the tool that i'm going to use to help me do it so we're going to clear this whole area out we've got a bunch of area over here that we're going to clear out that's my property as well really want to open up this property a little bit um get rid of a lot of the dead trees that we've got but kind of take out these small trees too so this small tree here uh is one that um you know it's it's growing it's thriving but it's really close to the other trees and it's just something that i don't think is going to be um is going to be ideal for the the look that i want so we've also got these two trees here that are going to come out uh, and I'm going to take some of the bigger trees down, but um, especially back here, we get really, really cluttered with trees. So I'm going to take those out. I've got a deadfall over here that I've got to get out. Um, it is not touching the neighbor's property, but it is right above his roof. So I'm going to work with him to get that one out of there, drag that out, get that cut up. Um, and then overall, we're just going to go and clean up some brush back here. So um, if you guys are interested in those videos, I'll go through and uh, record those as well. But again, guys, I appreciate everybody, uh, everybody who's watching this today. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks.